let's take a look at MoText. Now, MoText is pretty cool. Now, normally, if you were going to create some text, you'd just create the text object here. And then we'd come over here because we know that if we render this, we get nothing. So we'd come over and we would need to maybe extrude our text, something like that. And we could come over here and we could choose our font and we could play around with our caps. This is all stuff that we've done, right? So we could get something like that. And then boom, we have our text. Well, with Mo Text, all we need to do is come over here and create Mo Text. And we can create the caps like we did before, but you have a lot more options. So I could do something like this. Let's go ahead and grab that Ravi again. Horizontal spacing. And we have our text. But wait, there's more. The very cool thing about MoText, in addition to the fact that it's already done for you, you don't have to go and extrude it, is that you can apply any of the effectors to the text. Okay, so let's do some animating with our MoText here. I'm going to create a camera. and come and change my parameters to 1280 by 720. Zero this camera out. So we'll just go to zero, 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 zero. And let's look through the camera. Pull out from this and sort of move over. So we get something like that. Now, if we get out of the camera and pull out, we can see what we have in our scene here. So the idea here is to have the text start out invisible and sort of come up to the camera and become visible as it comes up to the camera and then sort of spring backwards. So we're going to use a couple different effectors to make that happen. First thing I'm going to use is the plane effector and I'm going to select the MoText. We go to MoGraph and we've got plane here. And you'll notice that as soon as I drop that in the scene, the text went up. So if I turn that off, you can see that. Now let's go ahead and select the plane effector, come over to fall off, and change this from infinite to linear. And I want to go to my effector parameter, and I'm going to change this to zero. Now I want to come over here to scale. I'm going to choose uniform scale. And type in negative one and watch the text. So it's gone. And you can see if I pull that plane effector through there, it becomes visible. So you can sort of see what's happening as the plane effector moves through it, it becomes visible and invisible. So what I want to do is have this happen over a longer period of time. Let me just move this over like this. And let's go back over here to the fall off and play around with the size. Let's make this much greater and then pull this over here. Maybe that's too much. Maybe we'll do it something like that. Here we go. Kind of get this in the middle. We can take a look at that from a top view. It looks about right. So now let me come back over here to the fall off tab and I'm going to take the fall off all the way up to 100%. And I also want to click on invert. So now the text is going to be invisible until I actually move the text through this. So again, basically what's going to happen is as the text moves forward, it's going to come through this effector and become visible. So let me just turn this off for a second so we can see our text and we can animate it. Go back into the camera view. Go to a four-way view. And at zero, I'm going to select the text, go to the coordinates, and just put a keyframe there. 
And let's move that up to say 50. And let's take our text and we'll just move that up. Something like that. And we'll put another keyframe there. So now from 0 to 50, our text moves forward. If we turn on the plane effector, we can see that it starts to come through the plane effector and becomes visible. All right. So good so far. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we have so far. Let's get out of our camera view. And if we pull this through, we can see our text becoming visible as it goes through the plane effector. What we want to do now to get our sort of springy effect is to use something called the delay effector. So let's go ahead and choose the mode text again. We'll come up here, effector, and let's find the delay effector. And the delay effector has several parameters. So if we go over here, we can see that it has blend, even, and spring. We want to choose spring. And let's take that strength up a bit. Let's go ahead and play this now. And we can see that we're getting sort of a springy effect here with our text. All right. So this is the MoText here in Cinema 4D. Very, very powerful tool set.